When it comes to the cool factor, the phrase space bike instantly holds a lot of promise, not to mention some of the legacy of some of the great science fiction classics. And Star Citizen has its offering in this regard, with a few vehicles to choose from, but are the bikes actually useful in game or just another gimmick? I'm Farrister, and in this video we'll explore the answer to that question by paying special attention to three in-game vehicles, the Nox, the Dragonfly and the Hoverquad. Some of you may be aware, but this channel regularly hosts a range of Star Citizen videos, ranging from guides to ship reviews, so if this kind of video sounds interesting to you, you might like to hit that subscribe button so that YouTube shows you more videos like this. So to start with, the three bikes have been selected because they're bike-like and available to drive in-game. Arguably, something without wheels can't be a bike, but it seems the best description. There are another two vehicles due for release at some point, the Origin X1 and the Tumbrel Ranger, but as they're not flight-ready options, we'll brush past them for now. All three of these vehicles have the cool factor, in their own unique way. Especially as they zip around the landscape, it can be a fun experience. And they each come with their own utility too, whether that's the weapons or dual seats on the Dragonfly, or the internal storage space to carry a little bit of extra gear. So far, so good. But they all need some other ship to ferry them around. Whilst the bikes will work in the vacuum of space, much like the snub fighters in game, the lack of any quantum drive means it will be a very, very, very long flight to get from A to B. And whilst the small profile of these bikes compared to other vehicles means there are more potential ferry ships available, even so, not every ship in the game has room to carry them. And yet, there are some scenarios where it is helpful. For example, travelling by ground is generally safer in the vicinity of anti-ship weapons, and having a bike to store loot can be helpful. Equally, the bikes are often fairly cheap to purchase, with the Hoverquad at only 88,000 Alpha UEC in-game. For context, that's probably achievable in less than an hour for many players. But it's rare to see these bikes deployed by players. As somebody with access to a couple, making this video was the first time they got out of the hangar for a long time. And that's because they're in a difficult niche. For the most part, you don't need to use ground transportation, as getting around the larger cities in-game is all via public transit, and in those isolated instances where you'd use a ground vehicle, larger vehicles like the Tumbrel Cyclone are often just as, if not more practical, with more space for more bodies and more loot. Not to mention very cheap, starting at 28,000 Alpha UEC. So, in summary, the space bikes are pretty cool, but at the moment, not as useful as you might hope. Or maybe you disagree? Let me know in the comments section. You might even press that like button if you thought this was the sort of topic you'd like to see covered, to let me know to make more videos like this. But otherwise, and as always, thank you for watching.